Hey everyone, this is Bob from Insidium and this is Top Tip Tuesday. And on today's video, I've been given five minutes to teach you a really cool technique to create some nice flowing wiggly animation to X Particles trails. Not only that, this can be used on any Cinema 4D spline object. We'll also show you how we can quickly and easily create a mesh based on an X Particles trail or any spline object as well. So let's get cracking, we'll start the clock and jump into Cinema 4D. In our scene then we have this spherical emitter f shooting out some particles and we're generating these trails based on those particles. But the trails are obviously just straight lines, it looks very static. How can we add a little bit of wiggly animation to these? Well we're going to use a deformer. So we'll go to our X Particles Utilities folder and in the Utilities we'll search for XP Trail Deformer. Let's bring it in. Like any Cinema 4D Deformer, it needs to be a child of the object you want to deform. So as soon as we get this and make it a child of our trail, you're going to see, look, that they've become wiggly. And if we hit play, we're getting this animation. So what's happening? Well, let's go to our Trail Deformer and you can see that by default, in the formula tab we have this default formula in the Y axis and this is creating this animated sine wave which is giving us this wiggly effect. Now this might be useful for what you want uh, but at the moment look you can see as it's wiggling um, it's being deformed away from the, the particle and this may not be something that you want. So to fix that what we need to do is go to the spline and we need to um, adjust the strength along the spline. So what this is saying is this is at the tail of the trail, it has full deformation, and when it gets to the front of the trail, it still has full deformation. So if we pull this knot down, now where it joins the particle, there is no deformation at all. Let's just adjust that a bit. And we can see that happening now in our viewport. If we hit play, the trails aren't being deformed where they hit the particle and now it's looking far more organic. So that's giving us this regular wiggle, but it's a bit too regular for me and that is just a result of the fact that it's obviously a formula, so it's going to be a regular animation. I am not as that comfortable with maths, so I'm not going to use a formula. Let's delete that out. And instead, we're going to go into our shader tab and we're going to use Cinema 4D noises to deform either the X, Y, or Z axes of this trail. So let's do it in the Y. We'll click on this, we'll bring in a noise. Let's just leave it on the standard noise. And if we increase the mix, you'll start saying, look, our trails are getting deformed. Now, they're being deformed way too much at the moment, and it's kind of a static deformation. So let's go into our noise. Let's increase the global scale massively. Let's put it on maybe 3000. Yep, and then let's add some animation speed to that noise. So it's going to cycle through, and that's going to mean that when we hit play, we're going to get a bit of a wavy look, but it's far less regular than we had with the formula. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. Let's go back to the Trail Deformer shader settings. We'll just reduce that mix down a bit. Doesn't need to be that much. All right, so now we've got some nice subtle wiggling. Let's activate this turbulence that we've got in the scene, hit play, and that's looking pretty cool. So now that we've got that, let's just um, create a bit of geometry from these trails, and we can do that really quickly with another X Particles generator. So we'll go to the generators folder, and in the generators list, we're going to bring in a spline mesher. We want to make a mesh from a spline, in this instance a trail, at the bottom here, look, it says, what spline do you want to mesh? So we're going to drag in our XP trail. And look, it's made some geometry. Let's hit NB to see the lines. And if we dolly in, you can see, look, we've got this very basic geometry surrounding our trail. If we want this to be more cylindrical, we can add more subdivisions. Look, let's add one subdivision and then another. And we're getting this really nice, smooth cylinder. Um, let's have a look at this one here. So what we're able to do, look, we can adjust the size and make it fatter or narrower. But what we want to do is actually taper this off. So look, we can unfurl this size. And again, this is the length of the trail from the start to the particle. So if we bring this down, look, it's making it thinner at the tip of our trail, something like that. And then look, let's. this is where the particle is. So let's pull this down 
and then bring this up to something like that and then this one we can push that right up okay so something like that is looking nice let's hit n a to hide the lines so now if we hide our trail now we just have this really cool geometry based on our trails and they are animating with our trail deformer let's increase the mix and we're going to see them wiggling more you see them wiggling around so that's looking really cool so that's how we can quickly add deformation animation to trails to make them look like they're more org organic and create a quick mesh from any trail or spline object